Como estas? Joe, Passion Unchained here, helping you live the life that you want for yourself and not for other people. So today I'm gonna to talk about why you should love your problems. Problems, problems. Love them because they're awesome. They're the thing that you need. Um, this is a concept that was inspired by Mark Manson. He talked about this and other people have as well. I wanna give credit where credit is due. Uh, he wrote a book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Awesome ass book, go get it. I don't get any benefit from it. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description for an Amazon affiliate link so I can make some money off that, but it's a good book. So, love your problems. Why should you love your problems? Well, life, I talked yesterday about how life is a series of states in the moment, and you can, can, you can the things you do affect your state in the moment and your future state. Things you eat affect your future state. The exercise you do or don't do affects your future state. So, day and the things you think about affect your future state. Things you focus on, really, is a better way to say it. Things you focus on and the meaning you give to things that happen in the world. Today, I'm going to talk about why your problems are awesome. And the reason is because you, your goal in life is to trade your problems for better problems. You know how people say more money, more problems? It's true to an extent. The issue with that is the problems that you have when you have a lot of money are much better problems than the problems you have now. If, if you don't have money, if you have money, great, awesome. If you're rich, you know this already. Right now, let's imagine there's a person, this abstract person who is struggling to pay rent, right? It's the 31st of the month and they don't have enough money and they have to borrow money or sell things that they like. You know, they have to find a way to get that money. And it's, it's stressful for them, obviously. So, um, what do they do? They, let's imagine that over months and over years, they gain skills and they get a good job and they, I don't know, maybe they freelance, they do something where they get a lot more money coming in. And now they pay rent a few months in advance, but their taxes went up, but uh, people are asking them for money, like friends are asking them to lend them money, right? There's more problems, maybe. I mean, honestly, I'd probably say there's less problems, but let's imagine that they're about the same number of problems. The problem of, oh man, I have to deny my friends asking for my, I have to say no to my friends, and uh, oh no, like I'm making more money, but um, more of it is taken away, but I still net a higher amount of money. Those are problems but they're not nearly as, they're much more enjoyable problems. Let's, let's say it in the positive. They're much more enjoyable problems than how am I gonna pay rent this month? How am I gonna fill my car with gas this month? How am I going to pay the utility bill this month? Like my internet provider is telling me that I have to pay them or they won't, they won't give me internet anymore. Like that, the, the problems of, hey, I have to pay a little extra in taxes and I have to say no to my friends asking for money because I have some, I have more than my friends, that's, those are better problems to have, <laughs> much better problems to have. And dating, like, oh, I can't find girls, like no girl wants to sleep with me, maybe I get a date here and there, but they just kind of say, oh, thanks, you're nice, but I don't want to see you, I'm sorry, or they'll probably be nicer about it, but like, you know, you're not getting anything, right? Versus um, you have a lot of girls you sleep with, and you see some of the girls on an ongoing basis, and you're really close to them, and maybe you go on road trips with some of them and do romantic shit, and you don't have time for all the girls that want to see you, and so you have to turn some of them down, and you don't want to make them feel sad, right? Because nobody likes rejecting anyone else. Though that's a, that's a problem, don't get me wrong, that's a problem, like how do I pick which ones I wanna see and the ones I don't wanna see, how do I tell them I don't wanna see them without hurting their feelings, because they really like me. That's a much better problem to have than like, I don't have anyone that wants to see me. So when it comes to money or dating or like, let's say health, let's, let's also apply this to health. Let's say you're sick a lot, uh, you don't really have much energy, um, you don't get sick too, too much. I mean, let's keep it realistic. Like, oh, some people get sick all the time, but let's say like you get sick every month or so, maybe every two months you're out for a few days. You feel like you have a bad cold or something. That's somewhat common. You, you're overweight, you're lethargic, you don't have energy, you're not very strong, you can't really run uh, more than like a quarter mile. I was, I was all, I was all of that 
all of that. I was there. I was that. I was really bad health. I was fat. I was overweight. I was sick all the time. I didn't have energy. I couldn't run more than a quarter mile. Even a quarter mile was hard for me. I've run a half marathon at this point, by the way, <laughs> just to tell you where I am a couple years ago in 2019. Um, haven't trained since then, but I do want to run a marathon at some point. Um, that versus like, I, I'm strong. I can lift a lot at the gym. I can run long distances. I have a lot of energy. Um, I'm fit, but I'm not exactly where I want to get. Like I still like, it's harder for me to get gains at the gym because I'm so, I have to put more effort because it's diminishing returns. Like I've put in a lot of effort. I've got a lot of returns, but now it's harder to get stronger because I'm already pretty strong and it's harder to run faster. Like if I wanted to run more than 20, than a, than a marathon, I can run a, let's say like this hypothetical person has run a marathon. It's like, well now like a marathon takes four or five hours like say five hours, a marathon takes five hours. Like I have to put five hours in if I want to at least five hours, if I want to run like a foot more than a marathon, it's going to take me five hours. I don't have five hours to try to do that. And like, I also have to recover a couple weeks. Like if I want to get further, it's going to be harder because I'm already pretty far and there's a lot of diminishing returns to get from where I'm at to even further. So like, that's a problem. Don't get me wrong. That's a problem but it's a better problem to have than being sick, being lethargic, being overweight, not liking how you look, all this stuff versus having a lot of gains, having a lot of um, super health, like you're fit, you're healthy, and, and it's hard to get further, but you wanna get further. That's, that's still a problem, but it's a much better problem to have. It's much, it, you're gonna be happier having that problem than not being healthy and, and all that jazz. So, um, Life is a serious, especially when you're talking about your ideal life, like what you want, like, I, like you, you know, I'm gonna, probably gonna do some videos at some point about how to like brainstorm what you want um, to make it more concrete, have concrete steps to do, where it's like, I want my health to be like this, I want my money to be like this, I want my, uh, my dating life to be like this, maybe I have one close girlfriend that I love, or, one, or I have a wife, mother of my kids, or maybe um, I have a lot of fulfilling various types of sexual experiences, and I'm kind of casual and focusing on myself. Um, you could have a lot of different setups to what your love life would be. And like, that's your ideal life, you going from where you're at to where you want to go, you're going to still have problems when you get there. Don't get me wrong. Your problems don't just magically go away. They're just going to be better problems. And so understanding that is really helpful because like if I look at the problems I have now, I could focus on the problems I have now and I do sometimes and it gets me down. But there, again, like I say in a lot of videos, there was a time where I was homeless for a couple days and um, I was like, deeply going into debt. I wasn't making enough for, for any of my expenses. I was way behind. I was borrowing money. My, my, my family stopped giving me money. My friends stopped giving me money. The bank stopped giving me money because I wouldn't pay it back. Um, so and I lost a lot of friendships because of that. And I put a lot of strain on my familial relationships because of that. And it was hard. But when I look at the problems I have now, which is how do I how do I um, pay more of my bills in advance? How do I make sure I pay my bills on time and pay more bills in advance and make more money faster? It's it's still an intermediate problem. It's actually probably more of a beginner problem. Like it's not it's not really a, it's 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 a bad problem to have, but it's much better problem to have than like where am I going to sleep tonight? Because that was my life for a few years. Where am I going to sleep tonight? I don't know where I'm going to sleep tonight. Like in Latvia, when I went to Latvia, I'm so grateful for my girlfriend there. We dated while I was there for about three weeks, the last part of, um, last half of when I was in Latvia. And um, she was so generous. She let me stay. Uh, she was house sitting at a friend's place. I'm not going to say names because I, her friend probably wouldn't want her to know. Uh, wouldn't want to know that she let, that her friend let me sleep there. But um, I didn't have enough money for the hostel and I was kicked out of one hostel. It was a really f fucked up reason, but I was kicked out of that hostel uh, it, honestly, it was probably both of our faults, but like they didn't, they were extremely immature about it. Um, and they kicked me out of the hostel and I didn't have anywhere to sleep, but thankfully my girlfriend um, let me sleep at a house that she was house sitting and uh, putting herself on the line because she had only known me for like a week or two at that point, barely like a week. She only knew me for a week. So she was putting herself on the line, trusting me that I wouldn't like 
you know, ransack her house or like eat everything in the fridge or like any of that. So, and she also helped me with giving me a little money. I'm very grateful. But that was my problem. It's like, where am I going to sleep tonight? Like, I don't know where I'm going to sleep. It's going to be, it's going to suck. Now I know where I'm going to sleep. I pay rent for this place, which is like spacious. It's nice. I'm comfortable here. I have uh, air conditioning. I have really fast internet, Google Fiber. Woo, woo, woo. And uh, this is, this is going to be uploaded on Google Fiber. And it's nice. It's nice. It's a much better problem to have. So, um, Love your problems, trade them for better ones, and until next time, bye. Oh, subscribe. Subscribe if you want to, like if you want to, share with a friend if you want to, use my affiliate links in the description if you want to, and if you don't, don't. Bye.